Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime Scene Cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. All right, today, guys, we have a client that called us back in 2018 when his mother had passed away, and she was an extreme hoarder. Holy smokes. Yeah, not too, too bad. Oh, God. That I, is a big-ass tree. Yeah, there's a lot in the garage. A lot of stuff. There it is. There was a tool chest from the 30s, had all his grandfather's tools in it. 1952. Wow. Whoa. 1952, huh? This is an extreme level five hoard. Watch your head. Out of curiosity, how did the door end up like that? Eventually, we just dusted it so many times, oh. it just came off the okay. track. And Meanwhile, people are just calling the cops. Oh, Jesus. All right, today, guys, we have a client that called us back in 2018 when his mother had passed away, and she was an extreme hoarder. Uh, we gave him a proposal to do the work, and he just couldn't do it at that point. He was super, super emotional about it. So we kept in contact with him, and now we're in 2021, and he is ready to let go of this house. And uh, you are gonna see kind of how I walk through with it, what the house looks like now and what we can take it to. Okay, so like when you, in terms of the stuff that you want to keep, do you want the furniture or do you want Honestly, like items? It's, it's, it's little trinkets and like memorabilia type stuff, like pieces like, like in here for, okay. I don't know how long, like honestly, like most of all of this is, is just garbage to me. Like, okay. You know, it's, it has rat piss yeah. and shit and roach, whatever all over it. How are the cats getting in? There's a, a door in the window. There oh, that's okay. By a piece of wood. Okay. Is that? I remember that. Yeah, it's that a, it was a roof issue. Yeah, there's right? a roof issue, and then okay. it has a new roof. Oh, it does have a new roof. Yeah, it has a new roof. Okay. Just the inside hasn't been yeah, repaired. The, yeah, the inside hasn't been repaired yet. But, okay. Uh, water's been off for like five years. That's a good picture of you. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> you got a lot of hair, huh? Senior year, yeah. <laughs> this is a lot for you to take on. Exactly. That's yeah, what, this is saying. no joke. Yeah. I can see how this would be yeah. taxing, like, especially if you're your mom's stuff. Yeah. Physically, mentally. Right. It is, the, like, I, I tried. Yeah. I got, like, this out, but this is all, like, brand you don't have new siblings, sealed right? stuff. No, no siblings, no yeah. nothing. Yeah. Like, all of this is, like, still in the box brand new, Jesus. but I don't, I don't know what's good anymore you know like maybe that like car yeah. wash set or just like you know it's just a bunch of random shit right I don't exactly really know. how many bedrooms was this again it's a uh, three bed so um, it's two bedroom one bath there's a there's supposed to be a, a, a bath in the back here it's always just covering stuff because you know I'm, i grew up yeah like this basically well not like this right with all the piss and shit yeah. everywhere, but you know, there was always stuff. Was so, it always just you and your mom? Me, my mom, my dad. Oh, your dad passed before her? Yeah. Okay. So, there's like, you know, this was my old bedroom, so there's stuff in there. I'd this one was wanna... yours on the left? Yeah, this okay. one right here is like what I'd probably want to go to. And I was getting in here, I know she has jewelry and stuff. And okay. Yeah, so it's three bedroom then. Yeah, it's a three bed, one, two, three, and there's a there's a bathroom back there. Bathroom right oh, here. okay. Um, Part of the process then would be that I, you know, I go through this stuff and take out stuff that you might want. Is yeah. that is that kind of the yeah the goal? Do you know kind of an idea? Like yeah. anything of value, basically. Basically, we said yeah. That, what about like photo albums? Yeah. And are you yeah. missing that stuff too? Yeah. There's like photos. I mean, there's like little trinkets All and right. stuff. So. But did the roof get replaced before she passed or after? Uh, before she passed. Before. Okay. So it's not that old. Yeah. It's good advice. Did you guys store anything in like the attic or anything that I need to get in there for you? No, not for 
actually. There's just a bunch of stuff in the rafters. Okay. In the the rafters. Rafters. That's about it. All right. You take a look at the outside of it. Holy smokes. It's not too, too bad. Oh, God. That is a big-ass tree. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's huge. And it's got a palm in the middle. Yeah, that's kind of my fault because when I think I was in sixth grade, I put it there. Oh. And, uh... Now it's a beast. Yeah. Is there a fence on the other side? Yeah, there's a chain-link fence. It's only like three and a half. All right, so how long have you been getting these code enforcement things? I've been getting them for a few years now, just oh, because of like okay. letting them go, but I've been, I kept up with it and I cleared the property and I did what they asked. And okay. I've just been keeping them at bay. All right, I'm assuming there's no mortgage on it, so no, that's good. No, the house at least is paid you don't. Off. Okay, so, so. There's no insurance currently on the house. This is a major rehab, that's for sure. What's on the other side of this? We call it the middle yard. There's a, a way out from the garage leads out here. Okay. And from that room out there is a sliding glass door. What's inside of it? Grass, stuff, overgrowth. Shrubs. Okay, so there's more overgrowth in there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that sucks. It's like a big weight on you, you it, know? It truly is. And I, 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 be I've, I've been dealing with it for like the past five years. I mean, it, like, relation, I've had relationship struggles. Yeah. Had, emotional turmoil because of this. Well, yeah, you have nobody to help you out yeah, with any of I this. Mean, it's all on you. Yeah, like Do you live far? I will, uh, right now I'm in between places. I'm staying with uh, my mom's friend. Okay. So, um... I can even try to get your uh, code enforcement fines reduced. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they're not even fines. They're just like... Just well, you know how they put like a... Yeah, yeah, they give you a time I had one lady that had 150 grand of fines and I got it reduced to 5,000. So yeah, she was she just let it go for like 20 years. Wow. All right, oh man, this is a mountain for you. It is. Definitely. Yeah, there's a lot in the garage, but I remember when I was 15, I was able to like clear out half of it in half a day. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's really just like, it's not, it Ooh. is a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. yes but it can just come out no problem. Right, right. Because a lot of it, I don't want. Is this mostly your mom doing this or was your dad doing it too? My mom. Your mom. Okay. All this stuff is like stuff that's never been out of the box, but a lot of it I probably don't even need. Like I'll probably take the seal meal if it's like wrapped in plastic enough. I'm just warning you right now, there's probably gonna be a lot of rubbish. Oh yeah, there is, I see them. So Laura, what's the goal for today? Search and rescue. Search and rescue. Eric, is this your first time in a hoard? It is not, actually. I used to do this back in the day, so it kind of brings back some familiar, some familiar times. Back in the day, my family used to buy flip houses, and they were foreclosures. And people would, not only would they leave their stuff, but they actually would trash the homes. And uh, we'd walk into them the same way. Either the walls would be destroyed, or the materials would be left. And, the I think the biggest difference would probably be the temperature. <laughs> Up in Ohio, it's 30, 40 degrees, and you're in jackets and sweaters, and the nice thing is you can do it down here in shorts and t-shirts. We would go in with those one yard and two yard dumpsters, just like I seen back at the warehouse, and you would just go in with big snow shovels and just try to clear it out. A couple of them were so bad that, uh, we would actually go in with a tractor and a bucket, and we would actually cut a hole in the door and actually would actually scoop the materials out. One of the worst ones I ever went to was we went to this house where it was a foreclosure, unfortunately, and they cut the sewage lines to the house. And they still used it for about two months. Oh, yeah, yeah. we see that happen a lot. So, I'm sure you're familiar with what that was. <laughs> oh, wow, I think I've had one of those. The Hess trucks? Yeah, those are so old. <laughs> this is trash. It's got a hole in it. Any other boxes? Like new stuff? Not much. Okay. What about that weed? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh. Brandon. 
Nice. Winner, winner. No. Oh. 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 <laughs> this is disappointing. That's so interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Those are a bunch of angels. Figurines. Do you want them? Uh, no. Okay. I really don't want those. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you want us to start moving this stuff then? Yeah, sure. Okay. Unless you know of something in here. I don't see anything other than pots and pans and... Yeah, really, that's probably about it. Maybe like little trinkets up on the wall there. Can we start with this room? Let there be light. This was your room, right? It was. Okay, is there anything that you know from memory that was in here? It was so long ago, I don't, I really don't know. But, okay. You know, as you bring stuff out, I'll probably go through it a little bit and see if it's worth it. I know that there's like an N64 or Sega Genesis in there. Oh. Guitar, maybe at the ukulele, maybe. What do you think he's looking for? What? Sega. Oh, video games. Nintendo 64. Majority okay. clothes. There's bo There's books in a drawer, and books on the shelf over here. And blankets. Do you want any of these books or anything? This book. Yeah. What's that? It's kind of There's that brand new space bag. It's still in the box right below you. You want to take that out as well? Is that still sealed up? Uh, Pet Cemetery. What are the major similarities you're seeing? Well, because I had to climb up. Yeah. Makeup. Yeah. The ceiling's caving in up there. What's it like back there? I mean, same. There's a mattress, clothes, all clothes. A monkey on my entire life. Yeah. I know how to scale the jump. <laughs> <laughs> Crocodile oh. Dundee. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll keep that on. Yeah. I don't have to ask my family that one. Okay, it was handmade. Mm -hmm. There it is. Oh, oh wow, you got box. it. Awesome. There it is. Man. It was a tool chest from the 30s, had all his grandfather's tools in it. Wow. Oh, School drill. Oh my god. Back four batteries. <laughs> another wow. one, another hand drill. Wow. I wonder what the date is on this date. I'm really curious about this. That's really old. Punches, awls, and bits and things. They don't make stuff like that anymore. It's, it's probably from like the 40s or 30s. A newspaper uh, clipping in there? Yes, bombers. Pound red supply. It's from Korea. Korea. 1952. Wow. wow. 1952, huh? Yeah. Wow. Triple Slayer put on most. What paper is it? Yeah. Which which city is Syracuse it? Syracuse yeah. Herald Where? Journal. Wow. This is this is his newspaper. Wow. Keep that. Yeah. This is all gonna be kept. That's awesome. I mean, I don't think there's anything that he's gonna want in here. We might have to go from the other way now. From the Ooh. inside, all I see is a washing machine, a water heater. It's ancient, and that's it. And everything else is wood and trash. This is an extreme level five horde. Mm. Extreme. And the chances of getting 
trapped in here are very high. It says Sullivan, Sullivan. Furniture. Oh, it's Muscle. the entertainment center. This big box. It looks like almost like that one. No. Oh, it's a computer desk. Oh. Computer desk. No. There you go. What's that one? He's old. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Worst case scenario, you sell it. Okay, it's going to come down with authority, so watch your ankles. Mom holding you up. Okay. <laughs> There's a bucket full of yard tools. Do you want that? You can sell it. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Christmas tree? No. That's a hard no on that one. <laughs> That's a hard no. Watch your head. Alright. Sweet, man. Happy first day. When was the last time you moved like this, Laura? More frequent than I'd like to say. <laughs> Dude, I bit off more than I can chew on this buy. <laughs> hey, do you want to take a look here and tell him what to pull? It's so just random. I just don't even know. Out of curiosity, how did the door end up like that? Eventually, we just dusted it so many times, oh. it just came off the okay. track. And I think the spring is okay, but like the way it's... The way it was oh, I got wound on, I think that side is messed up. This blower right here, that, we could probably use that, honestly, because it's... What is it, a fan? Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty strong blower. Oh, it's an old guitar, look at this. You want it? Oh, yeah. Is it out there? Yeah, sure. If it doesn't crack. Look at your mom's pictures and stuff. I haven't run across anything like that yet. Um... Oh, strings are gone, but... You string it, right? The old Esteban. Uh, that actually like probably come in handy because it's, what is it's it, getting fan? warm. Yeah, it's a high velocity blower. Nice. I not see any pictures or anything. Where's the photo albums and stuff? Somewhere. Yeah, probably in her room. Yeah. I just couldn't thinking. get all the way to the back. Yeah, it's... I don't want this to be a long arduous process. No, but... I get you. This is like mentally taxing for you. I get it. Yeah. Did you want to look at any of these drawers? Yeah, probably. I don't know if there's like... There's probably not much of anything in yeah, them, but... I guess probably just like makeup and stuff like that. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, yeah that's stuff I don't need. Jimmy Hendrix. It's Pepsi glass. Yeah, just that. Random looks, stuff. Looks old. Yeah. Jimmy Hendrix? Keep that. I just noticed that. That's oh, the yeah. other one. It's um, two of them. Yeah, they're in plastic, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. stuff right there. Well, probably you can probably sell them too, but maybe. Yeah, hey, I found some cash. There's some cash in there. Look at that. You guys hear that? Oh, it's probably the refrigerator. No, it sounded like a kitten. There's one cat male, one cat female. This is yeah, if there's just like film or something in there, I mean. Film? <laughs> but you're lifting big, Laura. You're heavy lifting. Money. Oh, hold on. More money. <laughs> I think that's still okay. Some of them have like been exploded. Yeah, I asked him if he wanted it. No, no, no. You can put it in the donate pile. All right. You finding more valuables? Yeah, I think we're going to take a small and small of these collectible items here. Can we still put most of the stuff in here for you? Yeah, I like those candle holders. And Stuff up here? I'll probably take the Yokiro dog, yeah. Okay. Sewing machine. What was behind the hourglass? What is that? Are they just like marbles? Rocks. I guess I'll hold them. I'll probably take that down. I really just put that up so the cats could get up, can get out of there when they fucking get up there. And 
Yeah, that was old damage from before I had the new roof put on. 1952. Jeez. That was the same as that, the that newspaper, magazine. right? Yeah. yeah. It was on the cover of it. Queen Elizabeth. What? Kind of funny, we picked that up as she's in the headline today. Yeah. But what? What's she doing? Her husband passed away. Oh, yeah. Ta-da! My dad was a huge Giants fan. Your dad was? Yeah. Love the Giants. Is that an iron in that guy? Yes, ma'am. Alright. Giddy up. Any cups you want? Oh. Give me a second. I could sure. use a margarita if it was in that cup right now. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just envisioning that was a big straw. Yeah, big margarita. <laughs> Are you still <laughs> Breaking the law, breaking the law. Bow, bow. <laughs> Meanwhile, people are just calling the cops. Oh, Jesus. Hey! <laughs> Yay! Good morning, everyone. My name is Eric, general manager of Spalding Decon of Tampa. Uh, welcome back. Uh, today, we're here at another house that we have purchased here. Uh, we've dubbed it Bush Gardens, considering you can see the roller coaster right in the background, or should I say the roller coaster platform. Uh, so, welcome to Bush Gardens. This is another hoarding house that we're actually getting ready to uh, start to clean out. Uh, stay tuned for more updates. We're getting ready to make entry and uh, stay, stay live. We'll show you some more progress as we go throughout the day. This is a house that Spalding Decon has purchased. Unfortunately, the family didn't want any of the effects or didn't want to go through the hoarding cleanup process. Uh, they decided they want to just, uh, just move on from the the job itself and we've bought this house and uh, we'll go through the flipping process get it cleaned up and ready for resale or renting hello ladies hi hi go ahead and introduce yourselves and your location and kind of talk about your training process so far how you're feeling about it so i'm stephanie sanders i am the franchise owner of ben salem pa and this is i'm ebony gray i'll be her pmr person and ben salem and we, so far the training process is going very well. We're excited to be here at our first job and actually getting some hands-on experience today. Yes, it's going down today. The training's been great and now we're getting some in-person training and we're gonna get ourselves ready to take this on. <laughs> awesome, have you guys ever seen anything like this before? Do you know what you're about to get into or? It's gonna be a shock to the system. This is gonna be our first horde, our second horde, but we're gonna be moving stuff around today and there might be some shocking things. Awesome. Are you excited? Yes. Oh, excited. We're looking forward to something shocking and exciting. <laughs> Hopefully you'll catch it on film. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, me, I hope so too. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you in there. See you in there. Oh, you a dead big boy. See him? Yeah. Thank you. That. You can say hi to your wife from YouTube. <laughs> can I? Yeah. Hi, babe. <laughs> Loving Florida. Very smooth. Alright. One trader, you got it? Yep. I'm just putting it out there. Here. My name is Jared Jones. I'm from Fairfield, California, and I hope to open my franchise as soon as possible. Awesome, man. How are you liking training so far? Very informative. Uh, it's nice to have hands-on experience by, by the time I open my doors. 
Have you ever seen anything like this before? Uh, on TV, not in person. It's, yeah? Yeah. Is it intimidating? You don't mind getting your hands dirty? No, I have a construction background, so I've been in some pretty gross environments. Um, not typically like this, but I have pretty questionable situations. This is different, but it's kind of along the same line. All right, man. We're excited to have you at the Spalding family. Well, thank you. Thank you guys for coming out. Uh, just so we know, he, I'll have him on the off the pod, but the trinkets and the styrofoams, those can go in the pod. Okay. Uh, the rest of that's the TV and the entertainment center can all go. Okay. Uh, the picture frames and the table. Uh, if he wants to hold on to those, we're going to put those in a pod. Everything else can go. Table, table can go. Okay. okay. Just the picture frames. Okay. Everything else can go. Okay. okay. What we'll do, uh, I'll just tell everyone to kind of keep their best judgment. Also, I know specifically what you want out of this room. As we go through the back rooms, like you said, if there's picture frames, things that look like it's like a family heirloom or keepsake, even if we're not sure, I'll just have them put it in the pod, and that way you can go through it later. But obviously, if the rest of it's been either contaminated or it has cat stuff on it, we'll just remove it. But it looks like it's in good shape and possible family heirloom. Regardless, we'll just throw it in the pod for you. Okay. That way, it's we rather be safe than sorry. Sounds good. You okay with that? Yeah. Awesome. I was like, should we just knock it on the? I've noticed it seems like we have bigger bugs down here in Florida, but you guys have bigger like rodents. Like the yeah. Rat like Philadelphia rats are freaking monstrous. Yeah, you know New York is where it's really at. That's what I've heard. Yeah, y'all definitely beat us in the cock room. Cock room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Big boy. Oh, no quick big boy. No fear, no turning back. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I did not think I was uh very much. Eric. What? Can you take that? Huh? Can you take the toast oven? Why is it alive? Uh-huh. I have done all of that. Alright, is it crawling at you? Yes. The biggest motherfucker I've ever seen in my life. Where? I don't know. I didn't know. Gonna jump right out at you. Yes. Yeah. 
<laughs> Use your anger. <laughs> oh. 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 Gotta do some washing mm. with some water. My parents say that. Wash, that's what my grandpa yeah, says. Yeah, that's what they right? Yeah, washing an idea. Yeah, Wait, but also in my region, we also say yins. That's what I was gonna say in a lot, and everybody was gonna be crazy yins. yins. What yins is doing? What yins doing? With y'all. I've never heard of that. Y-I-N-Z. And, and we're also the only part of the country that puts french fries on our salad. Hey, sounds like you're, salad. You're, you're Ohio? Is that where you're from? Well, I, it's, I'm Ohio, but I say Pittsburgh because no one can, can Oh, it's right next to Pittsburgh. Map. Yeah. Oh, not bad at all. No. Not bad at all. No. I think the freezer has stuff in it. Oh. Look around. It still works, so it's frozen. Yeah, it should be frozen. Yeah. How did our first horde go? It was fabulous. Successful. Successful, yes. A lot of hard work. <laughs> it was hard work. A lot of bugs. A lot of sweat. A lot of sweat. With no tears. Sweat. No tears. No tears. I did not cry. <laughs> or throw up. Or throw up. Or throw up. That's true. Or scream. Really, honestly, you Don't guys are pretty scream, tough. Right? Uh, I, like, I scream. I think we all scream a little. Uh, okay. Well, we all scream for bug cream. <laughs> yes. Yeah. First time. Though. Yeah. All right. Coming soon. Ben Salem, PA, and Fairfield, California. Woo! <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. Again, it's Eric from the Spalding Decon Tampa office. Uh, we've been here today. We've had two uh, trainings going on. Uh, we've had been lucky enough to have the uh, franchise owners from uh, outside of Philadelphia and outside of San Francisco come join us to be uh, take part on our initial horde we had here at one of the properties. Uh, help me out here, Evan. The Bush Gardens. Bush house? Gardens house. Okay, yeah. uh, we have Bush Gardens right in the backyard. Uh, we wanted to come have them experience what it would be like, the labor that's involved. Uh, that way they can. Uh, start building out their estimates, get an idea on what it included in dump fees, labor costs. Uh, so it was a good hands-on experience uh, with the house that had uh, the materials obviously that need to be removed. Uh, we've completed uh, our first load for the day. We're gonna wrap things up here today. We're bringing a couple more 30 yard dumpsters. Uh, this house will probably take right around four to five uh, 30 yarders. There's that much content within the garage and the remaining parts of the house. So there's probably a total of four to five days worth of work here. Uh, this is a house that we did purchase, uh, so this will be a house that we clean uh, and we'll either sell it or we'll turn it into uh, an occupied house uh, under, our, under our umbrella. Pretty much what we got for today. Pleasure talking to everybody and we'll keep in touch soon. Awesome. Then real quick, I missed what was happening uh, with the window at the beginning. Yeah, was absolutely. There a reason for that? So we were uh, trying to gain access into the property. It was a new acquisition of ours. We hadn't had the doors keyed yet, so we actually utilized the cat window. We was actually able to shimmy in the window. I got the window unbolted and uh, was able to gain access to the house. Nice. Awesome. Thanks, man. Yes, sir. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.